Hi friends, uh, this is part 3 of the storage space uh, creating an optimized uh, storage uh, file server. So in part 1, uh, we created the storage space. In part 2, we modified the disk uh, to have a mix of SSD and HD, uh, HDD disk. In part 3, we are going to use those disks to create our uh, optimized file server. So in the server manager open the server manager okay click on storage pools then the storage pool that you created in your part one dst add pool if you haven't uh, watched the other th two parts i recommend you watch the other two parts uh, so right click on it and click new virtual desk Click next. Click next. Now you have to give a name. So I'm going to give a name as user file storage. So create a, you have to make sure that you select this option. Create storage trays, storage tiers on this virtual disk. <coughs> it means that the storage trails en enables automatic movement of the most frequently accessed file to the faster disk. Okay, so it's automatically going to take care of moving the files, keeping the SSD, the slow files uh, or frequently accessed file to a HDD disk. Click next. So uh, there are two layouts. One is simple. Data is stripped across physical disk, maximum capacity and increased throughput but decreased reliability. This storage layers require at least one disk and does not protect you from disk failure. So since it's a file server, we want high protection. So we will always select mirror. So data is deduplicated on two or three disks, increasing the reliability but the capacity is reduced but uh, the reliability is increased and uh, it protects us from the disk failure which is important in a file server so always select mirror click next on the provision phase you can see only fixed is available uh, thin provisioning is not supported in tiered volumes so you can do that in a HDD or a completely SSD but in a mix of HDD and SSD, you can't do thin provisioning. Okay, so by default, fixed is selected. Click next. Uh, then you you will be given an option: how much faster, how much of the space you want to allocate for the faster tier, and for the standard tier or HDD, I'm going to select the maximum size. That is all the disk, entire disk. Similarly, here also, I will select all the disk click next so now i get a summary so total size is 379 in that 125 125 gb is sgd type 254 gb is hdd type and it's a mirrored uh, layout and it's called file server Now I'm going to click create. So it's going to gather the information, create the virtual disk, scan the disk, initiate the disk, and update the catch. Click close. So now uh, we have created the mixed tier. Okay. So this result will help us configure the disk okay, as a drive with drive letters. This result will help you to create a volume, assign it a drive letter or a folder and then format it with a file system. Okay, Click next. 
make sure you select your uh, correct server and the disk that we uh, user hyphen file hyphen storage that we created click next volume size will be complete and the drive letter we are going to give it as a H drive click next uh, it's going to be NT NTFS file system click next uh, the data deduplication this is going to be a general purpose file server and the deduplication files I recommend uh, you make this zero so the data is immediately deduplicated in the disk uh, one option you can see is you can ex exclude a particular files from deduplication okay so if you don't want a particular uh, uh, you know system files or something like that you don't want to or a particular movie files somebody is putting a movie on a file server you don't want to deduplicate so that your space is eaten away so you can give those exclusions of the file exclusion click next it will give you all the options click create so now it's going to uh, create the partition, format the volume, and access part, enable the deduplication, configure the deduplication, and update the catch. Okay. So now our disk is created as hash drive. So this is how you create your file server, okay, and uh, configure it. Now you can use those file servers uh, to create shares and other things so that people can start using it. I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching.